This is a milk making machine. So let's unbox it, assemble it, and see how it works. It does have a little cleaner brush. Wow, it's a really nice size and it has this matte texture on the outside of it and it's a beautiful white color. It feels pretty heavy too. Inside of this little milk maker has all of the tools that you need. It does come with these beautiful matching measuring spoons, strainer slash filter. There are little blades inside and there's where you plug it in. You can make nut milk, oat milk, juice, boil water, make a milkshake, soy milk, coconut milk, dry it, keep it warm. There's even a feature that says clean. Let's make some milk. Before you use it, you wanna make sure you fill it up to that little max line with some water. And then right when you plug it in, you wanna hold the delay timer for three seconds. If it's not working or it says E4, it might just mean that the lid is not on properly. That's what happened to me. So make sure that the two lines match up and that the little spout is facing outward so that the hot heat doesn't go straight towards you. Once I finally unplugged it, replugged it in, I hold the delay timer for three seconds seconds and then it will do a 13 minute countdown so just wait for that to end and this is kind of what it sounded like on and off it was letting out steam so just be cautious to not have that pointing anywhere that you don't want steam headed and then when you're done pour out that water and you're good to go so it does actually come with a lot of yummy looking recipes that you can try I wanted to just start with some basic oat milk since that's what I drink every single day so let me show you that recipe I got gluten-free old-fashioned oats and I put two tablespoons and then I did a cup of water and realized I need another cup of water water for it to hit the minimum level so you do need two cups of water so keep that in mind so then I added in two more tablespoons of oats I added in some sweetener some salt some cinnamon you can add in whatever you want feel free to add some maple syrup or something to make it a little bit more sweet but I went to menu until it hit the oat milk light up function and then it did an eight minute countdown you can see it counting down right now that's a time-lapse video when it was done I unplugged it I got the little strainer filter it comes with this is what it looked like and then I got a cup and I just poured it through and it strained all of the oat milk through. It made enough for me and my husband to both get a cup of coffee. So again, that was two cups of water, four tablespoons of oats. And it was so easy to clean too. I just filled it up with water and then pressed the clean option while I brewed my coffee. And then I did try to froth it, but I think it was missing a certain ingredient, which is fine. But all in all, this is easy to make, easy to clean, and I would definitely recommend it. I'm really happy that I got this.